All right, at Scotch Test Dummies, we're back with what we call Dear Dummies. All right, it's advice. We're continuing our military advice. This is going to be a series. These are going to be short. They're going to continue to come out right now on Mondays. Don't forget, if you have any questions, kind of like Dear Abby, but we're calling it Dear Dummies, uh, go ahead and put your questions in the comments, or you can send us an email at either scott at scotchtestdummies.com or bart at scotchtestdummies.com if you want privacy. You can put them right into the comments if you mm -hmm. want. We'll sure. answer them. You can reply on Facebook. You can reply mm -hmm. on YouTube or tweet us. Yep. Tweet us on Twitter. Um, so continuing with the military, let's just, since you and I were both in the Army, let's just say someone's wanting to join the Army. We had a guy that was asking us, we were having a scotch get-together, just some nice questions. He said, hey, you guys were in the service. Uh, my son's thinking about it. Let's, you know, what do you think? So what we're going to do is just answer that one question over a series because there's a lot of information there, but then we'd love to have more come in. So we've covered the different branches that you can go into just briefly. But however, my point is when you're joining, would you agree with me that that is the one time in your entire military career, other than when you decide to get out, that you'll be in the driver's seat? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The recruiter's nice to you because he or she has a quota. All right. They've got to get a certain amount of people in. Uh, if you're a good candidate, they really want you in. Um, tell them basically real quick, real quick, you're going to go and do what with the maps and everything? Um, they're going to take you, there's a, they're, they're going to have a local facility somewhere where you go, you get a physical, they run you through the, all the tests, the different, uh, blood draws. Real quick, be completely honest. There was a guy that was going down for the testing with me. He didn't tell him he only had one testicle. Okay. He was embarrassed. He gets in there. He hadn't told them, made the doctor mad and they rejected him. Not based on the single testicle, which wasn't an issue. It was based on him not being honest on his disclosure yeah, yeah. so disclosure. so you're going to go down you do the physical <clears throat> do the physical um they i mean they keep you there and they let you know it's, it's a pass or fail well there's written tests there's the asvab yeah, you know, take the asvab the written test yeah. uh, which tests your your knowledge base uh, your mm -hmm. education see where you're at you're right um Nothing depending on how you do on the asvab is going to determine what you can go into yes now if not to say that you do real bad, but say maybe you chose uh, and you didn't score real high on the ASVAB, you're going to be a cook? Yeah, you might be. Or they always throw out truck driver or cook. That's for and guys that are real low. What I remember was canvas repair. <laughs> they didn't list canvas repair. Canvas repair in my unit was pretty low on the totem pole. Okay. Here's what I will tell you, though. Um, first of all, do some research. Know what's a good as ASVAB score and what isn't. Second of all, before you ever go, you should have done some research. Kind of know what you want. I wanted to be a combat medic. Um, I knew there was a uh, light infantry unit. I wanted to go into the reserves. Uh, we can cover reserves and active duty or National Guard at some other time. Um, and when I went in, they immediately pitched me mortarmen. I'm like, come on. All right, mortarman, a light infantry company. Maybe that's because you didn't score that. I well scored well. On the All right, they just told me they they told me I could even go into psyops, but I had to go do some special made up language test, and I was like, yeah, I don't like psychological operations. But this is the one time. Now here's the deal: I walked away, and my recruiter acted pissed off. Well, that made me mad, and I said, you know what? I'll call you back in three months, and I called him back in exactly three months, and I said, let's go down and see again. And he said, are you going to sign up this time? I said, only if they have what I want. And if you don't want to play that game, uh, I'll go look at another branch. And this will be the only time you get to tell a staff sergeant stuff like that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, any other true. advice? But I mean, yeah, you were in the know what, know what you want. Yes. And stick with it. Don't let them. They will try to sway you wherever the needs are at for yes. whatever said service is. They will try to push you into that. Because they get area. bonuses for getting you certain areas filled. And they don't want to let you out of there without signing something. Nothing says you can't walk out of there. You're a good candidate and that you won't, might come back later if you're serious. I was serious. I, I almost knew for sure, sure I was going to do it. Uh, but I was going to do it on my terms. And I would tell you that is the only time you'll be doing is something in the military other than when you decide to get out. So, all right, that's it for now. Yep. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and send us your comments. Dummies. Later, dummies. See you later. Salancha. <laughs> <laughs>